I decided to make this video for two main reasons. Actually, two misconceptions I had about mountain bike injuries. So one is naive me, I thought as long as I was careful and didn't do anything too reckless, I wouldn't get more than a few scrapes here or there. And two is I thought I would only get big injuries when taking risks on hard features, which meant I was very unaware of the repercussions of an injury such as a separated shoulder. So I want to share my thoughts and experience regarding my recent crash and this might help your recovery and even prevent a future crash. The first thing I want to go over is how to prevent a crash. Most crashes don't happen on big features, which means if you're anyone who's ridden a mountain bike faster than 15 kilometers an hour, this applies to you. My number one tip, which I actually haven't heard from anyone else, is Ride every second of trail with the same concentration and focus you would a big feature. In my opinion, as long as you're not reckless, you probably won't crash on the big features. What do you mean, mountain bike Matt? Aren't those the most dangerous, you might ask? Well, sure, but you're also the most focused, dialed, and prepared for the potential outcomes. Compare that mindset to riding a small rock into a corner where I thought nothing of it and wasn't prepared when I went flying over the berm onto my shoulder. So, I mean, I can still ride relaxed, but keeping my mind on the trail in the moment may prevent future injuries. The second misconception I had was that only people who do big stunts can get big injuries and therefore I didn't really think about the repercussions of a broken bone or torn muscle or separated shoulder in my case. Um, things I was not aware of was that I would be unable to do anything with my arm for two to four weeks including schoolwork. Here's a quick shot of my left-handed physics notes. Um, some call me an artist. Uh, I didn't know I wouldn't be able to work at, my, at the bike shop uh, for a while, or even attend my driver's test. Uh, so instead of reminding you of all the things you can't do, um, I want to provide you with some tips that I figured out to help during recovery. First is find a way to get exercise every day, whether it's just going around your house, outside your house, get some fresh air, and if it's a lower body injury, then make sure you're moving around. Um, next is go see a physiotherapist or some sort of specialized doctor for your injury. Even if you don't think it's too bad, you're injured too bad, um, they can be very helpful, especially for the first time dealing with an injury like this. And third is taking it easy for a lot longer than you think. Um, definitely it's the worst to get back into it too soon and then have to start at square one again one week later. So I hope that video was somewhat helpful and I'm raring to get back on the bike and make some more videos, especially now that school's taken a bit of a chill. I will end with the statement that these are just my opinions and from my experiences. So if you disagree, feel free to message me on Instagram or something in the link below and I'd be happy to chat. Uh, hope y'all have a rad weekend and I'll see you next time.